Doggy. You want glass? We got it. You want metal? We got it. Bottles from all the land. Right down here. I got you, my friend. Check her out. I think it's a cream bottle. Definitely a cream. Premier. That is cream from milk. You know, back in the day. You know, like what you buy in the store today. Whipping cream, kind of, basically. This is cream. I don't know if you could whip with it, but... These little puppies are all selling for like 10 bucks on eBay. We didn't even know it last time. We just chucked them all back with cork top cream bottle. Gotta love it. Just had another little bottle pop out here. Oh, it's a little cutie patootie. Plain Jane. Same time period, 20s. Listerine. If I had a quarter for every one of them we found. Under the surface, hens, honey, and almond cream as hands as Heinz Company, Bloomfield, New Jersey, USA. It's a screw top, but I ain't never seen one like that before. Heinz, honey, and almond cream. Well, we're hitting a little patch here. I'm gonna set you all up after I change y'all's juice because your juice is at 4%. We're gonna dig around here. There's tons of stuff in this pile. Some weird looking plates. That was on top, so that's uh, probably not that old, but uh, it's a bunch of nice cork tops in here. A bunch of, bunch of goodies and goodness. Nice solid old brick. Bunch of cool stuff. No little bottles and whatnot. So let's set you all up. We just got forked. Hell yeah. Wish it was a silver fork, but I'll take a copper fork. Hell yeah. Now this one definitely has not been dug before. You can see the uh the lines in the dirt where it's been sitting forever. That's what I like to see. Oh, electrical doohickey. Got the copper wire around it. Something to do with old electrical. There we go, ponds. Nope, mason jar. 
Don't. What are you? Generic. Yeah. Generic. Blown in a mold. Bottle. Pond's jar of sorts again. There we go. Not sure what kind of that is. Heinz. Heinz 131. Patent company. We'll be able to find the exact date and history on that. Most likely 30s. Most likely something. I don't know. Something to do with Heinz. Oh. Ah, you little devil. Broken. That would have been a cool soda bottle. Or whatever it was. Oh, hi there. We got a gutter. Check her out. Just kicked up a gutter right there. The metal variety. Check out that puppy. It's pretty old style. It's got the bubble right there. Big old spoon. It's like a serving spoon right there. Good Guga Muga. We turned you off. We're digging into this embankment here. You can kind of see where there's humps where they dumped piles back in the day. And we're just digging her up. Maybe one of these days a silver one will come. Put that in our pile. And let's keep on rocking. I want to rock. Well, there we go again. Right there. That little bubby. How you doing, little fella? You got anything on you? No embossings? Okay. Generic amber medicine bottle. Damn. That thing is loaded with bubbles. Beautiful amber. Seam comes up to the top, so it's machine made, but I don't know. It might have been. No, it's machine made. But loaded with bubbles. Kind of just loosening up the dirt. And then pecking through it. I haven't been. Uh, bringing you out on every single one. Oh, you dirty little stinker. Damn, that would have been a freaking sweet bottle. Oh, there's the bottom. So that was on the sides. Whatever that said, something company. Ugh, disgusted. Why can't we find one like that? We knocked you over there. But when we knocked you over, we found another bottle. Let me guess. Generic quirk top medi. Another to the list. McCormick's company. McCormick Company, Baltimore, Maryland. So 
of that. I wish I had a paper label on it. And it's a screwy top. We're in a nest down here. There we go. Cork top. Generic cork top. Atlas Mason made that one. Sweet. Well, look at that little fella. Ain't he just the cutest? Little chode of a bottle. Ugh. That is tiny. Says something. Curtex. Curtex. Sweet. Metal varieties, battery core, and a copper head gasket off an old vehicle. Back when they were copper. It ain't moving, so it might be whole. Oh, what are you? Ooh. What in the dickens? What in the dickens? Well, that's an oddball. I don't know what that is. That screams 30s right there, but I guess it could be 20s. Probably late 20s. Ooh. Weird. Oh, you little stinker. A knee high. Oh, that's a 1925 knee high. You little rat bastard. She's moving. She's moving. What are you? You embossed? Ah, you're not embossed, but you're a cutie. Probably a beer bottle. It's old. Clear, uh, bubbled up beer bottle. Would have had a paper label. Well, we got another. A nutter. N U D D E R. Nutter. Oh. That look familiar? Vaseline Chesterboro. We found plenty of these. Is this one pink? Not yet, but it might get pink. Depends on if it was made uh, for uh, 1914 or not. We love our Chesterboros. These things they made pretty early. Well, we knocked another one loose down here. It looks like cork top. Ooh. I don't think it's embossed though. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's machine made for sure. Oh, it does have embossing. Two and a half ounce. Well, it's loaded with bubbles. I tell you what. Two and a half ounces, maybe shoe polish. Seashell button. Them things are so fragile. It is crazy. Made from seashells. They fall apart if you don't keep them in the dirt. So we'll uh, put a little dirt in our rag. There you go, Bubby. You rest right there, okay? You really need a sifter to get all this stuff, but my sifter's laying out in the woods. Check out what Bob found. Chamberlain's. That's sweet. Laying on the top for you to go find. And an old bluey. W.T. Co. Sweet. Hmm. We just got a heartbreaker, folks. A heartbreaker and a half. Oh, blood wine. B L U D W I N E. Trademark for your health and sake. Seven fluid ounces root on the bottom it's got bubbles oh i don't even know what blood wine is but i know it would have been awesome mm. right next to uh, uh wherever that straight side of coke was 
dug right down and it was right there under the surface. Whew. Let's keep digging here. We just popped out a gooder, folks. Hell yeah. Right by our uh, blood wine and straight-sided Coca-Cola. Oh, right down here. Check her out. Oh, I can see him bossing. It just came right out of that shovel, right down here. Nothing else really in here, but oh. Embossing. What do you got? What do you got for me? Atwood. Atwood's jaundice blisters. No, jaundice bitters. Formerly made by Moses Atwood. Georgetown Mass. Hell yeah. Now that bottle was worth the trip right there, folks. I'll be GD'd. I'll be gosh darned. I'll be darn tootin'. I'll be tickled pink. I'll be spanked silly. Ya darn tootin'. Oh, check this one out, Bob. Listerine? No. Way better than Listerine. Yeah, holy crap is right. Jaundice bitters. I don't even know what jaundice is. I don't even know what bitters are. Some kind of remedy, something. Yeah. Jaundice is like a, you turn yellow. Oh, I think. turning yellow. I think, kidney disease. That's awesome. What the hell mass, what the hell are they doing here? I know. We're way far away from mass. Right by that uh, blood wine and uh, straight sided coke. I don't know how He's old it is. They took that. Oh, they would have took it for sure. It's definitely, uh, definitely machine made. It was worth the drive. Probably 20s, I'm guessing. It's definitely machine made. I'll look it up. Atwood's Jaundice Bitters, formerly made by Moses Atwood. Georgetown, Massachusetts. Chusets. However you say it. Chusets. Chusets. They don't give two shits. Yeah, they don't give two shits. Well, folks. Oops. We did it again. We got a bottle. Get down here and check her out. Again, right next to the old blood wine and straight sided Coca Cola. Check her out. Right in the depths down there. Popped her on up. Give her the old pant leg shake down. All right, that's uh, one of them generic ones, number four. These have a little spout on them sometimes that says pour here. Generic. Basically what you'd get from the pharmacist back in the 1920s and teens. Refillable medicine bottle. I'll be gosh darned. We just found another, you might as well just punch me in the gut because that's how I feel right now. Soda bottle, true me. 
Oh, Jacksonville, Florida. True me. I think there was, yeah, there was definitely more up above it. Ah, that's a beautiful 19 teens, 20s soda bottle right there. And she's whacked. There's a bunch of cool looking bottles coming out of here, but that's the big old heartbreaker right there. But maybe there'll be more. Still in our little honey hole. Don't forget to check out Super Sparrow. Supersparrow.com slash discount slash relic hunting Florida. Oh, punch me in the face twice now. Royal Palm. These are actually pretty rare bottles, these Royal Palms. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Well, we found the Coke Heaven spot right here. We'll dig around and hopefully there's a whole one. Oh, I am cringing at the amount of broken ones. And I'm not breaking them, don't worry, they're broken. The edges are not shiny. They are far gone broken. Oh, we got another heartbreaker, folks. Davis Painkiller Vegetable. Davis Vegetable Painkiller. Ah, the top is busted off of it. Oh, and we got a nice uh, 1914, I think. 1915, 1914. One of the two. November something. And, uh, yeah. There's a bunch of really cool bottles here that are all busted up. Dr. Miles Medical Company. That cool one. Panistan. Cork top. It's a shame. Well, I'll be all danged, folks. We did oh so sweet today. Tons of stuff. We're going to go over these little beauties. What do y'all say? We found some heartbreakers. Some heart crushers. Heart breaking, pain in the chest. Whipped me good. Some of these bottles we got here are, oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh so good. Might as well kick me straight in the gonads for breaking them. Oh, well, let's go over these little ladies here. What do you say? Obviously, the old straight sided Coke was laying there on the ground. Jacksonville, Florida Coca Cola Company. Got our Chesterboro, New York, the one we didn't break. Shoe Palace. This is a kick you right in the gonads find. Blood Wine, B O U D Wine. Uh, I. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I would have uh, died to get that one. I would have stuck my head six foot down a hole, a gopher hole to get that. For your health and sake. The McCormick Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Another heartbreak. Punch you in the gut. Trade, so I don't even know what that says. Trade, click out club, trade click out club. Another good shank. Yeah, yeah. Royal Palm. These are some rare bottles. We got another one here. I might as well show you that. What it looks like. Hey, if we cut the top off that, we can make a whole one. How about that? Royal Palm. The Royal Palm Soda. Property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Got an old palm tree on there. Stark, 
Florida contents, fluid ounces. I think they made these uh, all over the place. Anywhere Coca-Cola factories were, they made these. But these are way more rare. Got a cream bottle, shoe polish, don't know, Medi. Here's another gonads find. True new. I found some true great before. Jacksonville, Florida. T R U N U. Oh, amazing soda. Too bad, folks. A bunch of little medis. It's another cream bottle. Premier. Oh, that one's cracked. That's too bad. But hey, we got another one. That's not cracked. If I don't drop it. Premier. The find of the day right here, folks. Atwood's Jaundice Bitters, formerly made by Moses Atwood, Georgetown, Massachusetts. Hell of a find, people. Hell of a find. Another pretty goddamn sweet find. Hands, honey, and almond cream. That one's cracked, though, unfortunately. And it's got a little nicky poo, but I'm going to keep it just because it's different. Generic, generic. Oh, here's another heartbreaker. Uh, Davis. Vegetable painkiller. Oof. I wish, and I'd hope, and I'd pray, and I didn't get it. Bob's fine. His little lid. 1898. Pink, pre-1914, Listerine, generic, our uh, dangerous copper wrapped up whatever weird insulator. Whoops, there she goes, amber bottle. Oh yeah, we got our uh, turn of the century crack pipe. I have no idea what that was off of, but it's beveled, like flared on both ends, a tiny flare and another flare. I don't know why it's cockeyed, but it's cockeyed. Part of our old head gasket and, you know, all that fun jazz. We got some copper bits down here, our spoon, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hope you all enjoyed. I had fun on this one, as always, and we'll see you all on the next. Stay tuned.